Welcome to Sintetra. We are north of Budapest, around 16 tram stops up north. This is a small little cute town, cultural, historic and also very artsy with a lot of heritage. We're gonna check out Sintetra now for the rest of the day and have an um, amazing journey here in this small little town. To get here, uh, you have to take a train from Budapest, either Batanitir or the Market Heat, Budajit, and then uh, you have to buy a Budapest ticket, single ticket, and also a uh, suburban railway ticket for the uh, Bekas Medier to uh, Santander. So two tickets, so you don't get any fine, and it's only like 450 forints for one ticket, so not so expensive. So it's on these um, ticket and pass via HPL attack where you buy the uh, tickets. Of course you buy a um, Centendra Vegas Medier or you buy a Vegas Medier Centendra and then you just pay through this machine. It's very easy and simple. We are at the Centendra train station. It's uh, quite small. Um, you can only get to Budapest from here. And now we are going towards the downtown of Centendra, Belvaros, and uh, that's a very old town. We're gonna explore all the history and um, yeah, look at the culture there. Eh? It's like under one euro for a hot dog. Very cheap. And when you walk around here in Hungary, you will find this guy everywhere. It's uh, my good pal, Will Billy from New York, who's doing more advertisement than me. So I mean, he must be doing something that's good. Good job. What I really like about this um, beautiful little town, if you can say that, is that it's a very, very, let's say, cozy town. There's around 26,000 inhabitants, and you have all these small streets everywhere, and not so many cars. But there's one, but you get the feeling it's a very like down-to-earth uh, place, and uh, it's very beautiful. I'm going to tell you more about the uh, history and the architecture in a minute. So in here we have the Ferenczi Art Museum, um, which is a must-see when you visit Centendra. And uh, they have uh, different exhibitions now and then, so... Behind me you have the uh, Sabatschak Heat. I don't know if it's called that. The street is called Sabatschak Tier and um, the Freedom Bridge. Let's, I will call it that. But right now it's being renovated and there are not really any water in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, river. So, there are not really any water in the river. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know why they have the bridge, but maybe in past times there was water, perhaps. It's crazy to see all this um, history and art combined. What are these lobsters or ants? I don't know. Now we're walking into the uh, old city. The beautiful, beautiful old city of Santander. Here you have a, um, a picture, a map, the archive of the whole city of um, Santander. Right now we are here, just passing the little Sabotschak bridge. And then we're walking into the tourist center. And then we will be checking out how the Irak um, part, the Dona, Donau River looks. So um, this is the main street of Santander. Uh, it's very, very, very beautiful, calm, and in the summer they also have markets here where you can buy handmade stuff. Um, Santendra is a very cultural city, so you'll have a lot of artists here, painters, uh, also people who make handmade stuff. So a lot to discover and a lot to buy also <laughs> if you have the money. In here, the first uh, mayor of Santendra, Dumcha Yenö, he lived in this exact house, and this street is actually also called after him. It's quite an interesting and beautiful old building. Um, it could use some renovation, but... <coughs> Here is the knife house, because in this area, Panon, they also have this tradition of making these beautiful knives with different things and uh, animals engraved into. And it's right here in the main street of Santander. Behind me, the Samos uh, Masipan, the Hungarian uh, chocolate and Masipan Cukrasta is, and it's also in the main street. And um, they have some of the most delicious cakes, sweets in uh, Santendra. Let's try it. 
carried one of the most beautiful Zuckrastas uh, in Cententa. Beautiful place. So let's try this um, caramelas torta, curry, coffee cake. Wow, so good. It's um, just a bit caramel and um, a strong coffee taste. It's very, very good. Very um, spongy. 10 out of 10. This was some of the best caramelas uh, torta I've had in my life. Coffee also. It's, um, I mean, this whole feeling in this small village, the atmosphere, everything, it's just very, very inspiring. Also, there's this focus on art and culture. I could live here, I think. Each of these um, small corners of Sententa is just unique. It's uh, really, really beautiful and uh, most of all the buildings are kept in a very good shape. It's, it's just that it's so quiet. Ah, okay, well, mostly quiet. Here we have Ikna Tovici. Yakov Utsa. That doesn't sound Hungarian at all. And it is not Hungarian because um, after the Ottomans came here to Hungary and they actually settled around Sintendor, most people left. There was only one family left here. And after the Ottomans, they disappeared. Serbian minorities came here and actually settled the whole beautiful um, town of Sintendor. So there's a lot of Serbian heritage here in Sintendor, like a church, different things. Everything in here is um, handmade case movies here in Santander and it's so gorgeous. I mean, when we buy a house at some point, we should have all of this here. I mean, I am already in love with this place. I know it's very um, touristy, but it's, it's beautiful. It reminds me of uh, Bergamo in Italy. Um, you have these small corridors, Keramia, handmade everything here. I like it. This is very Italian, like these small, small, small streets. You can't even get a car or anything in, you just have to walk there. I like these walkable um, small towns and cities, it's just very romantic, but not so, I mean, if you had to get your car here, it wouldn't be so smart. Wow, it's beautiful. Here is the Feuter, the main street. It's, um, the place where you have lots of restaurants, also some tourist shops, uh, cafes and also some bars. And it's just, it reminds me of uh, really Italy, Bergamo. Also some places in Denmark, on Bernholm. Here are these uh, classical Mohaj masks. Uh, should we maybe one day do a video about Mohaj, uh, the Buja? Buja? Let us know. It's uh, this Hungarian tradition where you dress up as uh, the Mohaj trolls, or what's it called? hvor jeg står her måske hvor I mean you could not even fit a scooter in here it's uh, it's very very narrow um, it's beautiful and um, the pictures you get from this beautiful beautiful city town I would say is uh, just amazing it reminds me a lot of Italy uh, south in Europe France something like that it's very well well um, well kept and all the churches I think we can find one church to visit. Maybe the Serbian Orthodox Church. We have to come back here very soon again. It's beautiful. Maybe buy a house here. A lot of people like ask me about what I like in architecture and stuff. And I think it's, it's the combination of all these colors. You have this beautiful yellow, this... Um, not so like very light blue buildings you have red you have it's just colors everywhere this city is one big uh, painting for me so it's so beautiful and you have all these small 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 um, architectural designs pure art we have to get up to the church beautiful view up there Look at this old school Presso beer house. Once again, I remember I was in Italy. North Italy, we were walking up to a small, small, small village. A bit smaller than here. 
And it was the same steps up to the church that was on top of uh, the whole village. It's very, very, very romantic. I mean, as a songwriter, I would like to live here because I guess you could get more peace. That's what I need right now. Baptist Church of uh, St. Henry's and uh, it's built around 1750 or something and it's uh, in a very very good shape they have um, the last hundred years also spent a lot of money and time on uh, keeping it beautiful and it is on the top of St. Hendra with mountains in the horizons beautiful roofs old buildings I mean, you have to come here to experience this. It's so beautiful and picturesque, and especially here in the fall, it's just beautiful with the leaves are turning yellow and everything. Katwish Shandor Katepi. This old boy is everywhere you go in Hungary. But I mean, it's, it's beautiful poetry. Could you live here? Yes, I could. It's wonderful. Every corner here it offers some kind of art or architectural design or anything. It's a bit different compared to Denmark where you really have to look for this. Here, like every corner, here is the Varoshasa, uh, the, um, the city house. Well, it's, I guess, the Valhus uh, in Danish. What's that? City hall. This is the city hall, yeah. And it has the St. Andre flag. It's uh, blue and yellow. It also has the Transylvanian flag. Mm -hmm and uh, the Hungarian and the European Union flag. Beautiful building, actually. Who doesn't love the smell of lavendula? 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 Yeah, anyway. Uh, here you have lavendula ice cream. I was really scared that it was gonna be very flowery-ish, but it's um, actually very good. It's lavendula vanilla ice cream. A lovely smell. I love the lavendula. Mm. Want to try? Mm. As I said, the art decor and uh, beautiful buildings too. This is not the uh, cute romantic streets. I don't know what it's. And good ice cream. If uh, one of these houses were for sale, I would definitely buy them. But um, I think everything here is sold out. It's beautiful. And to be honest with you, if you like, you know, handmade stuff, food, specialty coffee, everything, this is the perfect place to go. Behind me, the Belgrade Serbian Orthodox Church. It is a true piece of art. I think one day we'll maybe do a church series where we just discover all these churches in different towns because there are so many here. I think there's at least five churches in uh, St. Andre. So one day we should check them out. But today it's gonna be more um, cultural focused and not so much religion. So let's take a look. Now all the handmade stuff begins. This is the uh, Bogdani Utsa, and you can find tons of shops that sell handmade bags, handmade soaps, handmade everything. We're not gonna go in there now, but if you are into Christmas in the summer, you can check out the Christmas Museum. It's a, uh, I don't know, they like this everywhere, Christmas in Hungary, any time of the year. If you search for Centendre on Google, this will come. So this is the Bertiniuza. I would call it the Umbrella Street. Um, it's very known for its being very picturesque with all these umbrellas. People who visit Budapest tend to go here also. Very beautiful. But there's so much more in Centendre than just this.
if you happen to be unlike me, you probably have a lot of money. And uh, if you come to Hungary and you want to have a very fancy souvenir, I would buy some Herent um, Puzzleine. It's very beautiful. I mean, who would pay 400,000 forints for a Puzzleine Tiger? Well, I would if I had the money. So, yeah. Herent. Wow, it's beautiful. 7 million forints for a urine. This is the National Wine Museum. You know, if something Hungary is very good at, it's making wine. I think we have to make a video about this one time. There's so much to do here in Szentendre. You should come here by the morning and leave three days later to get everything out of it. So this is the Chica Bonal. It's a little, um, here in um, Szentendre, there's a lot of artists around. And um, here you can buy beautiful, beautiful paintings and also some ties. Let's take a look. So uh, you can buy these small houses, toy houses, where you individually pick which toys you want. It's very, very cute and, and g genius concept, actually. Mm. We are parents. <laughs> yeah. This is parent mind. Parent mind, exactly. Yes, we want to have the parents to tidy up easily. Just pull it up and one nice decoration in your home. Exactly, it's beautiful. Yeah, and this is a tiny castle inside the house. Teacher Tunda made all this. A 29 year old um, woman who uh, studies art in Budapest. And it's absolutely beautiful. And you can only buy this here if you come to Szentendre. Very beautiful. Oh, who's this guy? So, Mel Gibson was here. And now I was here too. Here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it 67? Now we are entering the uh, Donau Promenade. We have this beautiful promenade down here where lots of restaurants, high class restaurants. It's a totally different atmosphere from the old town up here. Let's check it out. Behind me, the beautiful Donau River. It's, uh, it has some very, very nice accesses here. You have Actually here you can take an excursion boat from Budapest and all the way to Visegrad, which is just a bit more north. There's also a little harbor, not a harbor, but you can put your boat here if you have a boat. And um, down here there is also a summer beach. They'll be used during the summer for swimming and other beach activities with sand and everything. And a little bar also. It's um, very, very beautiful and uh, more reasons to move here. <laughs> What does it say? Not drinking water. Nem. I thought it was drink water. Perhaps. This beautiful promenade leads you all the way down to Budapest, I believe, and all the way to Visegrad. It reminds me a lot of uh, where I'm from, Lesser and Gilai in Denmark. You should watch that video we did about Gilai. And um, it's just very calm and quiet. It's just what I need, actually. And it's only 35 minutes away from um, Budapest. So if you lived here, you could get the best of both worlds. <laughs> Talking about Serbia, here you have a Serbian restaurant. And that's because there is quite actually a big Serbian heritage here in uh, Sentenda, with um, a few thousand Serbians living here. Everything here is in Serbian too. Serbian music. Sedatem Serbia. When you walk around see all this art and beautiful architecture and just experience this, you also tend to get hungry. And um, we found this place called Passata Pizza. No, and that's just my, my alley with all this Italian food. It's Napolitani. Napolitano Pizza. So, let's try this. Shit. <laughs> it looks pretty good. <laughs> I think Wow, it looks very, very good. Here we have this real Hungarian Szentendre pizza. Mm. Mm. You have honey, you have four cheeses, gorgonzola, smoked cheese, and you have some um, walnut also. It's 
It's an explosion of different flavors here from Passato Pizza. Mmm, very good. And they say some of the best foods are outside of Budapest, around Balaton and all these small beautiful uh, places. What do you think? Is it good? It is very good. This pizza is one of the best pizzas I've had in Hungary so far. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's not the classical pizza. It has very, very Hungarian cheese. It has uh, honey. It has walnuts. It's, it's very, you know, it's very different, and it makes it so special and so good. I could eat it every day. Det skal jo gøre lidt mere for, at der begynder at komme vand. Det er lige meget. Nej, no, no, no. I heard that there is a cinema, a mozzi, an art cinema here in uh, Santendra. Oh, something for sale here. That would not be so bad to live just here. How much do we earn in YouTube, you know? Ikke nok. Not enough. There's so much to look at, I could like... So many impressions, it's very quick to get tired with all of this. What a beautiful building. I think I found the uh, cinema, Mozzi, right there. What do you get when you combine art, culture, handmade stuff, the Donau River, the mountains? You get Cententra and also a lot of tourists. Um, this is a wonderful place and I do not regret coming here. I want to come back very soon. It's beautiful, it's well maintained. There are so many things to do. We haven't touched even like 10% and um, it's just a beautiful place. I hope you like this video. Tell us where to go next and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Like this video and also check out Aisha's channel. She's the one who's filming and editing and doing all the hard work. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.